Hi, this is Marshall Jones at Winthrop University, and I'm going to be giving you an overview of Audacity. Audacity is a free audio recorder, so you're going to see tools that you recognize, like the pause button, the play button, the stop button, and the all-important record button. I'm going to press the record button, and I want you to look up here and see that my recording levels are, are nice and high. I'm getting very close to the yellow, which is where we want to be for a good quality recording. We don't want to go into the red. Going into the red is bad. Clearly, uh, you can overdrive the mic and you can have problems with it there. Now you can see here on the voice print that I'm going to scroll back a little bit that where my voice is right now on this meter is a good solid recording. This is clearly overdriven or it's called overdriving the mic. That's where I said red really loud. Uh, but what you want is you want your voice print to be somewhere in here. You can control that through your recording volume meter here. Now this actually changes the recording level for every application that you use. So if I change this too much, it's going to change it in the screencasting software that I'm using as well. But if you find that your voice print is not moving off of the off of the center line very far, then you want to go up and change your recording level. This is what we call a single track audio file, and here it is, audio track. Uh, we can actually name the track, and we can call it voice. You can see it, the name is changed right here. Later on, we're going to see that you can have multiple tracks. So you can have your voice in one track and your background music in another track. But for the moment, we're going to stick with the single track. Notice that we have numbers along the top here. This is our timeline. This is telling us the length of our audio file in seconds. If it got into minutes, it would the designator would change to minutes and fractions of seconds. Uh, but at the moment, we can see that the record button and the pause button are highlighted. When I'm recording, I like to use the pause button because it's easy to keep the pause button, keep my mouse on the pause button and press it as I need to. But when you're done, you need to press the stop button so that the, so that you can do something to the audio. For example, you might highlight the audio and decide I don't like this particular piece. So I'm going to delete it. I'll just press the delete key. And you can see that uh, at the moment, my audio file is about 23 seconds long. If I delete this much of it, it's down to less than 20 seconds long. So you can do editing within your file as well. Uh, if I wanted to delete the, the offending red, I could do it that way. But I'm Marshall Jones at Winthrop University, and this has been an overview of the Audacity interface.